Well, Sunday marked the 24th anniversary of the September 11th terrorist attacks. A solemn weekend across the U.S., Cantor Fitzgerald, which had an office located in the former World Trade Center's Tower One, is now raising more than $200 million for charities to honor those lives lost. Here to talk about their charitable work, we've got Howard Lutnick, Cantor Fitzgerald CEO. And Howard, you know, it, it's tough to, to imagine. It's been 21 years uh, since those attacks happened. Let me just, I'm curious what, what was going through your mind yesterday as you saw the memorials play across the country. Well, you know, on, on September 11th, uh, we lost 658 of our 960 uh, New York-based employees. So what we do on the 11th is we have uh, a big get-together of all the families, and then we go uh, with white roses and we cover the names of all the Cantor Fitzgerald people at the memorial, at the 9-11 Memorial downtown, which is an amazing, amazing site. We cover their names in white roses. And, and then we read their names and we remember them. So it's really emotional and important for me. And then the next business day, we come out and we try to raise as much money as we can for charity. So all of my employees, they all waive their compensation for the day. And every penny we do, not profits, every penny of revenue, uh, Cantor Fitzgerald and BGC Partners, we give every penny to charity. Last year we raised $12 million. And we get celebrities, so you might see behind me, we've got Eli Manning right on the floor right now. Gronk is here, Julian Edelman, Henry Lundquist. We get amazing people to come and help, help our clients trade more. And then we give every penny to charity last year, 12 million. Hopefully, I know the markets are a little tougher, but hopefully this year we'll, uh, <laughs> we'll meet it again. Yeah, I mean, it, it's incredible to see how that specifically has grown. I mean, can you talk about that growth there and, and really the awareness, um, especially when we're talking about... So you get, you get is. this is what happened. See, you know, <laughs> Eli coming to visit. I mean, he's been doing this. How many years have you been doing this for uh, us? It's I'm unbelievable. 15 years at least. So it's I'm, unbelievable. I'm, 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 I'm retired now, so you can hire me full time now if you need me. I'm ready. I'm ready. This is great. Yeah, well, thanks Eli, for doing Eli's this got a lot of time on his hands. Thanks, man. All right. Thank you. <laughs> oh, what a pleasant so, surprise you know, there, Howard. Um, talk to us about the growth of this charity, though. As you said, you've really been building on it year after year. Yeah, so what we do, um, you know, we started small. Obviously, we were just in the first five years, we were just taking care of the families of those we lost uh, and just trying to take care of those 658 families. We raised $180 million. We gave 25% of everything we made at the firm to those families to try to take care of them. And then after five years, we turned to our communities and the charities that, you know, Eli's charity and, and the other charities that we support. So we have about 150 different charities and it's grown bigger and bigger. Cantor Fitzgerald was 2,200 people. We lost 658 on 9-11. We're now 13,000 people strong. So it's a big, strong, amazing company. It's come back strong, but it's come back with the right heart to try to take care of others and turn this tough, tough day into something beautiful. Yeah, and Howard, I, I wonder if you can talk about, you know, how you have evolved in, in trying to remember this day. Obviously, in the aftermath, Cantor Fitzgerald in many ways became, unfortunately, the, the face of the tragedy because of the employees that you lost. But you've really sort of built on this to expand beyond just those victims of 9-11 and building on this charity. Can you talk about sort of the evolution and how the company has thought about this day year after year? Well, so we started, so the company had a rule. We wanted to work with people that we like. I mean, that's, it's an unusual rule, but it, you know, it was my company and, and that's the way we decided. So at the end of the interview process, we would all sit together and say, what do you think? Do you like this person? Because you spend as much time with the people you work with as you do your family. And so we really chose to work with people that we like. Now, couple that in and we had lots of brothers and we lost 26 sets of brothers, meaning mom lost two two kids we lost a set of sisters i mean think about how horrible that is and now so after the events of september 11th we had to take care of those families that was just that was the driving force to rebuild this company because you can't take care of 658 people if you've got a small company so it's got to be serious and it's got to be big and so we turned our attention to helping those families because let's face it all we all wanted to do was just hide under the covers hold your family as close as you could but we turned it back out and said, we're gonna take care of those families. And then we took care of, well, look, we've gotta take care of others. We've gotta turn 
our emotions and, our, and the toughness we've been through into something beautiful. So with all these people behind me, uh, you know, fighting tooth and nail to get there, we've rebuilt this company, but we did it on a foundation of taking care of families, taking care of our community. And we've been everywhere. We've been to Moore, Oklahoma when they had uh, a tornado. We've been to Puerto Rico and Houston when they had, um, you know, when they had hurricanes. We did a hurricane, you know, when we had a uh, superstorm Sandy, we, we adopted 19 elementary schools. So the key to our rebuilding this company was on the foundation of something that was beautiful. And it, and it worked out, uh, you know, we're standing. So we're still standing. Yeah, certainly building a lot of strength hey, out of so, one. And we got someone else. So, Enrique, this is the greatest, <laughs> the greatest goalie ever, and he just happens to come by and visit. See, this is what you get, you know. So, how many? There years you have go. Been doing there you go. With? Well, I try, I try to count in, in, on the right up here, it's, but it, it's been a lot. It's a lot of years. I'm starting year year 18 in the city, and I feel like this day has always been important. And uh, did you say eight? Eight years Eight, he's been coming here. Here to this office. So that's it's been it's so amazing. Be you've been you've been amazing, <laughs> yeah. and uh, you know he helps so many people through charity, and yeah. and this is what happens. So, you know, think about it. My employees they donate everything today. So I want them to go home and not say I worked all day and it was you know I gave all the money away. They take a picture with Enrique and then they say, <laughs> look, and their kid says, how cool is your job? Yeah. You've got the coolest job well, in the world, and that and that's what makes it special. Yeah. No, I, Unfortunately, I we're out of time, but but two surprise awesome appearances and, and in well, one like segment. You turned something uh, appreciate your time today. Howard <laughs> Plotnick, <laughs> Cantor Fitzgerald, Thanks. CEO. Uh, really great to have you on today and appreciate all the work that you've been doing. There. Thanks, Thanks so much for that. All right.